Do you think it's weird to go to Walt Disney World by yourself? Well, no need to worry. Today, we're gonna go over all those first timer tips to help you have a safe and confident and budget-friendly solo trip to Walt Disney World. <laughs> The first tip is to start small. Because this way of traveling can be kind of intimidating to Disney fans, I recommend easing into solo travel. For example, try to get to a park like the Magic Kingdom around an hour before your group gets there. So if you are with a big group and everyone plans on kind of starting their day out at 11 or 12, you get there an hour or two early, get on a few rides, Test out the waters and see if this is the type of way that you like to travel to Disney. You may end up really, really enjoying your solo moments. Tip number two is to plan and research your Disney vacation. The idea of going to Disney alone may be already too stressful for you to even comprehend. So I highly suggest kind of planning out your day. That way you kind of have some type of itinerary set for your day. And as I mentioned earlier today, you can grab your own free Disney itinerary in the show notes. So I've already taken care of that for you. You have your itinerary. Now get out there and go. Tip number three is to book your Disney Fast Passes and reservations early. Fast Passes are a must have if you want to maximize any of your time at the Walt Disney World parks. Remember, on your solo trip, guys, when you're, whenever you're doing any of those fast pass reservations or just dining reservations, this is your time to live it up. So don't just do some of those standard restaurants that everyone do. Maybe plus your own trip by getting that epic reservation to Victoria and Albert's. Because you know why? You're living in your YOLO solo moment. Yes, I did just make that up. <laughs> Tip number four is to theme your days at Walt Disney World. And what I mean by this is instead of maybe just kind of walking through the park, you know, leisurely or just, hey, I see a ride. Let me just jump on it. Plan a day. Maybe at Epcot, you have your own food and wine festival. And I'm not saying you go to the festival. I mean, like at any time of the year, you say, I am going to go through each country. I'm going to try one dish and one drink from each country. And that is my own little food and wine festival tour for me. Or you could do it where all you do is watch shows. You don't go in any attractions. You just want to go and watch every show that is available at the Walt Disney World Parks. This brings me to tip number five is to do Disney your way. Since it's your solo Disney trip, it's your time to do Disney your way. This is the main perk for going to any of the Walt Disney World parks alone. In order to get all your Walt Disney World must-dos, I suggest doing a little bit of research on the web and writing down everything that you must do. Tip number six is to choose the perfect Disney hotel. It's easy to book a hotel and stay cooped up in your room, only leaving to go to the parks. This is not the best way to get comfortable with socializing with people on your solo trip. So you have to ask yourself, how sociable do you want to be? That can kind of help you determine what type of hotel that you pick. Now, I don't want you to stay cooped up in your room, but if you want kind of like a medium type of hotel where you have those quiet moments to be alone, then I suggest something like the Swan and Dolphin. It is big enough that you can feel a part of the whole Disney magic and going to all the different activities and areas that they have there and you're in the heart of Disney parks. <laughs> Tip number seven actually is don't be afraid to socialize. Try not to be shy. I know it can be intimidating introducing yourself to people. It's so easy to just stay to yourself. And I know this firsthand because I am an introvert. And so I have to really make an effort to get outside of myself and go introduce myself to people, spark up conversations, and kind of just be more sociable whenever I'm out there on these solo trips. If you need any help, you can join the Theme Park Hipster community on Facebook group and we'll be your little community to help talk to you to get out there and go solo. And you never know, some of these friendships that you make online may end up becoming lifelong friends. And that has happened to me. I've mentioned that on multiple occasions. So never X out, you know, doing things like meetup.com or joining any kind of Facebook community that's Focus on theme parks. Tip number eight is to let the cast members know you're alone. Disney cast members enjoy chatting with theme park goers, so be sure to 
mention that you're on a solo journey. You never know what kind of surprises they may come to you with because you are being so brave and so courageous for doing something like solo Disney travel. Tip number nine is to take lots of photos while you are at Walt Disney World. Get as many selfies as you can. And one of the best perks at Walt Disney World is that they have the photo pass system. And this is where a cast member will take photos of you that you can retrieve later on your phone or computer in the My Disney Experience app or website. Take advantage of this. This is a person taking photos of you with all the characters. You don't have to worry about trying to angle your phone at the perfect angle. They have the best cameras. They're going to get the best angles and the best shots for you. Tip number 10 is to know why doing Disney solo is such an amazing adventure. The perk number one is freedom. You get to choose what you want to do, how you want to do it, all within legal bounds, of course. Perk number two is that you become a better problem solver because you are on this trip. You kind of have to figure out ways to solve problems in more creative manners than to have someone with you who can kind of like you can piggyback off of. You have to decide what your solution to problems that may arise are. Perk number three is that you may have the opportunity to meet other solo theme park hipsters out in the park. I want to see you out there. If you are doing a solo trip, let me know. Let me meet you out there so that you can have someone to chat with for a little bit, get those solo nerves out of you, and just keep going with your trip. It's tip number 11. Remember, you are home and you are never alone. When you arrive at Walt Disney World, this is your home. This is your place. This is your peace. This is your refuge. You are here and this is one big family reunion. We are all here to love on you, to help encourage you to continue with your solo travels. And until next time, happy park hopping, hipsters. I would never send them any place dangerous that I damaged the ship. I am them too, yes, brother. This is why I start my own company to have ridiculous conversations with the talking trash bin.